Hello folks, I'm Jesse Valentine Ports, and today I want to talk about the brewing troubles of our monies. The money system, the fiat currency system and markets, as well as the cryptocurrency markets, are heavily manipulated and controlled by the elite oligarchy, basically, a small group of very rich people who can manipulate the markets quite easily and have made themselves very rich doing so. And while making themselves rich, lobby Congress heavily to eliminate taxes for them or find ways around it in other ways, which has led to a time of inequality that we have not seen in a long time in this country, or in, in fact, the entire world. So I want to just shed some light on the fact that in a sense, our fiat currency system, for at least an Amer the US dollar, has been broken since around 2008. Um, the Fed added a bunch of liquidity to the banks, making the banks richer, and bailed out all the banks and the rich people, but did nothing for the average person. And our currency system is still a joke. It still isn't working right, and it still is on a foundation of quicksand. And it could collapse at any minute. Your savings could become worthless. And this has happened before in history. Um, it happened at the fall of the Soviet era in Russia. So. These things can happen. It can happen here. And I hope people are very careful about how they're managing their finances. Because I think we're in for some really rough times to come. I also see this on the cryptocurrency markets because everybody's dumping huge amounts of their stimulus checks into crypto because we're all reeling from the inflation that's going on from all of the trillions of dollars that are being added to the money pool. And while that doesn't affect the really rich people, it does affect people who have to figure out how much money they have for food and rent and whatever other bills they have. So Whenever I'm looking at the crypto markets, I always see, you know, whoever has a huge amount of money to push around, or they can even do it subtly with lots of small market moves. Um, they will continue to use methods described by Wyckoff um, way back a hundred years ago to how to manipulate the markets and to fleece all of the retail investors. And I see this happening again with all the cryptocurrencies um, in a huge way. Like there was some backroom deal that said, okay, well, we know our money system is broken, but we're going to hold all the money in the banks so that there's really not enough out there to keep the economy from totally crashing. Zimbabwe style and then now with cryptocurrency well we want to be able to control the cryptocurrency so we're going to manipulate the markets as much as we can in order to take as much mu much of the cash value out of it as we can from retail investors and hoard it away someplace where we can then control the market later on I mean, they can control the market now, but the longer that they can keep the manipulation active, it allows the economy to continue. It allows them to keep their wage slaves. It allows them to stave off any impending revolution or new technology that would actually democratize our financial system or even just ways of having a country that is actually functional. You know, I'm a, I'm a 10th generation American. My ancestors predate the 
founding of the United States by at least a hundred years. And to me, it's really tragic the way we've lost so many of the freedoms that brought us here to this land in the first place. Um, and I don't think most people are aware of it, you know. They are not aware of our history. They don't know the early colonial history. They don't know where we came from. They don't know how we got here. And because of that, they are just dealing with the world that's in front of them and trying to survive the best they can, which is fine, but they don't know the true story. And by not knowing the true story, they are placated into thinking that this is the way things should be, or this is the way things are supposed to be. And we're actually in a much worse place than that. So I know this is not a very cheery <laughs> podcast, but um, video, but I feel like it's important information that needs to get out there. And people need to realize that value is fleeting. We only um, are able to use money or cryptocurrency or anything else because other people decide that it has value. Because we all agree it has value, then it works. But otherwise, it's just a fantasy. And too often that fantasy comes crashing down into a hard reality. So, I don't know what the solution is, but I do know we need to be careful. And I would love to hear your thoughts about a possible solution in the comments below. If you at all found this video interesting, please give it a like. And if you feel so inclined, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell to hit all so you actually see all of my videos and not just what the algorithm feeds you. So, thank you very much. May you be blessed. May you be well. May you be fortunate. May you be lucky. May you be rich. May you be full of love. May all beings be at peace. May all beings be joyous. Aloha.